Good morning. We are starting fresh this morning and out of our comfort zone because we've never fished here before. We're at a little lake called Lake Loma. This is part of the seven lakes here in Snohomish County. You can see that thing behind me. It's about 12 acres, not that big, but one of my favorite lakes is a little 12 acre pond. Caught some four or five pounders out of it. So we'll see what we can do here. We're here with Nate this morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Let's get this boat in the water and see what we can do. Oh, that's nice. Looks like I might be getting wet. I'm wearing fucking Crocs. <laughs> ah. Picked the wrong kind of shoes for this shit. It doesn't matter, I'm wet already. <laughs> oh, no, just head to the back. I do like it though, it looks, water looks like it's high, actually. Yeah. This morning. You know, first I'm gonna throw on I'm gonna throw on some Guggen baits. This is a bandito bug. What color is that? Alabama crawl. It like? It's got a little orange tint to oh, it. Shit. They call it the Cheeto Bandito because if you use it, it's cheating. We'll see about that. I don't know if you can tell I watch Flare too much. This is a nice little lake. You get past the launching part of it. Let's take a time out from that. I know I'm impatient. What was that? Six casts and I'm changing already. Because you dial up the launch coach and send one deep. Yeah, it's funny. I always see everyone talking about these lipless crankbaits. So, springtime fishing or winter fish, that's, you know, use these lipless crankbaits. I've caught probably two fish on them. Every time I get a bump on my line, I just get excited. Shit, the last fish I caught, I think, was early, late September. As it turns into hunting season, then I don't fish anymore. That felt like a hard thump. It wasn't just a, I got a weed. The fucking a pine cone. The hell is it? Got a rig. Some kind of rig. Honestly, don't want it. <laughs> uh, there's a egg weight. And that's about it. Thought that was it. Saw that piece of bark coming up. I thought it was a goldfish chasing my shit. I was like, what the fuck is a goldfish doing out here? Yeah, I think this was somebody's yard a little while ago. You can see the fence up there. The water's that high. We might be... Fish might be a little deeper than we think. 
Can you see the water temp? Holy shit. I think we'll be pretty lucky to catch anything in water temps 39 degrees. That's a fish. Oh, motherfucker. on it. I've gotten a few bites up toward, you know, in the shallows, but it's hard to believe that the water being this cold, they'd be that shallow. Fuck down in Florida right now, they're already catching pre-spawn bass. I don't know how Texas is doing since it's been frozen. About ready to start a fire on the boat just to warm up. It's not my core, it's just my fucking hands. Fucking what a cast. Constantly getting my hopes up for no reason. Oh, you got it. <laughs> better to be lucky than good. Pretty sure I caught that. There's one. No. Oh, is it? Oh, what the fuck. That was a fish. Fucking lost him. Jesus. Try that. Well, that was another day of not catching any fish, but it was it was a good time. I uh, I can swear I had a couple nice bites, but that could be just me wishful thinking too. Uh, it's a uh, tough when the water temps only you know 39 degrees. I, I see all these guys on YouTube talking about uh, they're fishing cold water fishing. They're they're cold water fishing's 50 you know 52 55 degrees. I'm up here trying to fish in 39 degree water. I mean, they can be caught. I mean, I see guys on Fish Brain posting a few catch, a few fish they're catching. You know, the last few days or last week or so. Not me, but I'm gonna be out there every single weekend trying to trying to catch one and trying to give you guys some decent content. And bear with me, I'll keep it as short as possible. And if you made it to the end of the video. Uh, I've entertained you a little bit, so hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, wait for the next one to come out, and you never know. It's, it's always an adventure. Tight lines, and remember, start fresh every day.